Good afternoon, welcome to Bull Tips. I am Vice Staffer Bill Crane. Today we're going to be demonstrating some of Brunswick's products on the market. If you go on over here and take a look, this is what we have. And I'll explain what each one does. We got two balls here with a very similar layout. The uh, Mastermind Brainiac and the Gold Rhino Pro, both uh, pearlized bowling balls. Uh, if you can tell, the layouts are very fairly similar, except for the Gold Rhino has a little bit of a uh, pin closer to the uh, bridge. It's a little, little further out. These both balls actually give length with a little bit of turn down lane. The Gold Rhino goes probably about three or four feet further than the Brainiac both give me a desired look on the lane. Moving over to our next set of bowling balls, we actually have our melee hook and our Nirvana. The melee hook is going to be your symmetrical ball and the Nirvana is going to be your asymmetrical ball. Melee hook is an absolute illegal ball and I don't mean that in a negative way, I mean that in a very positive way if you're looking for a ball that's very long down lane, very angular. Um, with it being a solid cover stock also, you're gonna find it's gonna bite a little bit in the front. I think it's gonna be a great ball for somebody's bag who is looking for that mid-lane ball that uh, you're kind of missing from that bag. The Nirvana is my hook beast. It just, all it does is wants to roll all the way down lane. And you're gonna have to use some, find some oil. You're gonna find that ball in your bag, especially on any tournament condition that you find. I'd use that ball probably on my longer patterns, maybe uh, anywhere between 41 to 45 feet, depending on what we have going on. Coming over here to our last two, we have our Radical uh, Rack Attack, suggested by Mo Pinnell. Hi, Mo. Um, we actually went with a little bit of a different layout with this ball. Um, pin is actually, believe it or not, in the middle finger. This is a classic layout I've used before on a couple of my balls. It won me a few tournaments here and there. Love the layout. I think it's a good predictable layout, especially when the lane's a little bit drier. Now going over here to Mo's suggested layout for the uh, Guru Master. Um, this is the 85 by 2 by 50 layout. It allows the ball to really roll. When it's off your hand, it's rolling. And I'm actually going to throw this ball first to demonstrate what this ball does. And we'll go ahead and do some other, uh, throw some other balls here just to see what you guys think. Now, I won't guarantee that I strike, but you guys can see what this ball does. As you can see, it's very rolly. It's going to allow you to play a little bit straighter on the patterns when they're uh, a little bit tighter down lane. It'll allow you to play the patterns in that, that area longer because the ball's gonna not flare as much. I see that as a pretty good option for those bowlers out there that like to play lanes a little bit straighter. A few uh, bowlers out there that are like Walter Ray. And yes, Walter, I just give you a shout out. Guys that like to play lanes like Walter Ray, this ball's gonna be really good for you. We'll go to our next extreme. Next. We use this radical rack attack. As you can see, remember, the pin's in the middle finger. This is like a five inch pin for me. And therefore, what's gonna end up happening, this ball's gonna tumble, 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 but you're gonna see a roll down lane. It's gonna, it's just gonna pick up energy as it rolls down lane. As you can see, when that ball's rolling, as we got down lane, the ball picked up energy, and it continued to pick up energy, and therefore what we see is the ball's very angular down lane. Great ball, though, when you want to open up those lanes, those lanes are a little bit drier. Maybe you're looking at like a second block, maybe late second block ball. That's what I'm going to find this ball in my bag for. Going down the line, we'll go to our hook monster next, the Nirvana. Now remember, this ball's a beast. You're going to see this ball pick up really early. Sorry, I had to get the uh, hit in my thumb. 
you're gonna find this ball pick up really early and it's gonna continue. So let's take a look at the mirror. it was so early and it just continued. If I would have moved left, the ball might not have picked up at all. Going down the line a little bit further, this is my benchmark ball. The way I can describe this ball to those rollers out there that might not have thrown Brunswick for the last several years for whatever reason, this ball is going to remind you of a couple bowling balls back in the day. One, first off I love the color. The color's going to remind you of that sapphire zone back in the mid-90s. Everybody loved that ball. It was the must ball that everybody had. Motion-wise, down lane, the old HPD. I, I know everybody remembers the HP series. They had the C, the D, and the H. They all did different things. They all hooked in different spots on the lane. This reminds me of the HPD. And in the front part of the lane where it picks up, it's going to look like a burst max. And I think everybody loved that ball that threw Bronson. So let's take a look at this melee hook. just came out a few days ago as well as the melee hook. Here's the Brainiac. And uh, be smart when you throw this ball. You'll find a couple of good spots in this ball. that's my big weakness when we pull majors is that burn squat. As you can see he uses a lot of pins out in the stratosphere. This is a little bit shorter pin so we weren't able to get away with a pin all the way out here. We got the pin up, still put the CG in the middle, and as you can see the mass bias got touched which lowers the differential a little bit on the ball. As you can see it still reads the lane really nice but doesn't over read down lane. Now everybody out there that has uh, slower ball speeds, maybe a little less hand. You're looking for that ball that's uh, gonna get down the lane for you real nice. This is it. If you remember this ball from the early 90s, Brunswick's remade it in the vintage line. The Gold Rhino Pro, very similar way out to the Brainiac. Once again, long, but it's still gonna read down lane. really long. I got that in a little bit. I'll admit I didn't do it that great. Got it in a little bit, but the ball still held line because it's long and it's symmetrical. Still give me a nice hitting power. When we're on flat patterns, nine spare is a heck of a lot better than seven two or eight one. That is it for today's bowl tips. This is Bill Crane, Vice Staffer, Vice Grips. If you've never tried them, try the interchangeable thumb, try vice grips. I can guarantee you'll never want to get out of them once you put yourself into them. That is all for today. Have yourselves a great day. Bowl well, high scores.